All right, hi guys. This is just a quick video. A lot of you guys at the club been asking me about my uh, magnetic building board. Uh, welcome to my shop. I just want you to know, see the sign? It is a man cave. No women are allowed. So anyway, just a joke, ladies. Um, here's my building board. Uh, this is uh, six foot long and two feet wide building board. Right now, in the process of uh, building up the uh, fuselage on this uh, Balsa USA um, Super Piper Cub. You see, I got the wings all set up, and now I'm going to the, uh, the fuselage. So, let me tell you, there's a guy on the internet that sells these. They're a little bit expensive. They're sweet. Uh, they're, they're made quite well. I got a bunch of them spent a bunch of money, but honestly I got these with uh, magnets over there at Harbor Freight you get two of these magnets for um, a buck They don't have the uh, the metal Attached to them, but when I had my building board made up I had the guy punch out a bunch of these blanks and I stick it on to the uh, magnet like that on on both sides and um, and I got a super strong magnet. It's uh, incredible the distance, the difference. And I put that sucker down, try to pull it up. It's pretty hard, opposed to like one that doesn't have it, just comes right up. And um, that was uh, that was really nice that I had the uh, the guy make up a bunch of blanks. But anyway, so you wanted to know how uh, it was made. Uh, basically, this what you're looking at here. The thickness is there's a door panel which was laminated uh, with this uh, three-quarter particle board that I got at Home Depot. I also bought a damaged uh, door core, super flat, and put this down. And then this, um, uh, the guy uh, here in town, the sheet metal guy, I had him uh, cut to order. This, it was, I want to say it's 20 gauge. Um, galvanized metal which then I laminated down onto that and then I had my final magnetic uh, surface it works super well it's super flat within 1 32nd of an inch I mean it's flat it's flat 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 and um, I, I never experienced using a um, magnetic uh, building board before but I'm telling you uh, with these uh, little magnets and the professional ones that I bought on the internet for doing the fuselage sides and wings They just work sweet. They hold down really nice opposed to as we all know the old-fashioned You know building board put your pins in you know you get yourself a t-pin and You know if you're lucky if you got one of these little tools to stick your You know so you don't ruin your thumb and push the pin in you know, and obviously the Midwest pins, the sold by Midwest, those are nice. Um, but uh, then you end up with, you know, all the, the holes in the balsa, which you got to go back in later and fill. Um, a lot of you guys asked me, where did I get my building board? Uh, this is 16 by 48. Uh, I actually bought it from uh, Great Plains. They, uh, they sold it. Matter of fact, I think I got it up here. It's uh, the Great Plains Pro Building Board. Um, they don't make it anymore. Uh, there's not too many people that build models. Everybody gets an ARF nowadays. But anyway, that's my building board. That's the fuselage of the uh, Balsa USA one third scale Piper Cub, Super Cub. And there's the wings. And now you've seen it. You don't have to drive 45 miles out to my house, guys. That's what it looks like.